let's try naming some organic compounds. So you need to know the order up until six carbon atoms, which is here. And it goes meth, eth, pro, but, pent, hex. Next, functional groups. So we'll start with the alkanes. We have a carbon with a single bond to another carbon atom. So it's a carbon to carbon single bond. The alkenes, we have a carbon to carbon double bond. The alcohols, we have a OH group. Aldehydes, with the aldehydes, we have a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen and then another hydrogen. And the rest of the molecule we can call R, which means it's just an alkyl group. Okay? Esters we'll leave for another time. Now a ketone, it has a carbon to oxygen double bond here. Okay? But the carbon which is connected to the oxygen is joined to two other carbons. If you compare that one with an aldehyde, you have a carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. Here we have a carbon, oxygen and another carbon and another carbon. Okay? And then a carboxylic acid, we have a carbon with a double bond to an O and then an OH group as well. Okay? Side chains. So how do you name side chains? CH3 is methyl, C2H5 is ethyl, C3H7 is propyl. If you have a group 7 element such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine, it changes to fluoro, chloro, bromo or iodo, and NH2 becomes amino. So let's try naming some organic compounds. So you can look at this molecule here two carbons, the functional group is an alkane, so meth, eth, ethane. The next one, the functional group is this part on the end. Okay, we have a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen and another hydrogen, so it's an aldehyde. And there's three carbons, so it's meth, eth, prop, it becomes propanal. The next one, we have a double bond here. And we have one, two, three, four carbons, so it's but. And the double bond is on the second carbon. Therefore, it becomes but two in. Okay. The functional group for this molecule is here. Sometimes you'll see that written as C O O. H. Okay? That is a carboxylic acid. And you count the number of carbons, one, two, three, four, it becomes butanoic acid. Next, we have this functional group here. It's a C double bonded to an O, oxygen. It's not on the end of a molecule. If this was on the end, it would be an aldehyde. It's somewhere in the middle, so it's a uh, ketone. Now, how many carbons do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be pent. So where is the C double bond O? It's on the second carbon, okay? Always give it the lowest number. We have five carbons. It's on carbon number two. So it's pentan two ohm. And then the last one, we have an OH, okay? So we know it's going to be an alcohol, and we've got meth, eth, prop, so it becomes propan2ol, okay? You have to say where the OH group is, and it's on the second carbon, because it could be on the first carbon, then it'd be propan1ol, okay?